Hi guys, in this video I'm going to introduce the concept of hiding columns and rows and even worksheets within a workbook. Now I never th found the use for this until I actually went to work and I saw that I was inheriting people's spreadsheets who were who had columns and rows as well as sometimes entire worksheets hidden and it was up to me to realize this and uh, unhide them a lot of times they were just trying to clean up their spreadsheets but they didn't want to delete the columns or rows because uh, they were being used in some other formulas so I want you to be aware of this and not be caught off guard one way to uh, to to realize this is that you know obviously the letters go a b c d e f g h i right and so on if you see a, a jump from say F to J, you know that G H I are might be hidden. And the way you can unhide them, first let's hide G H I. Let's say I don't want to see this little table over here. I'd rather have it uh, hidden, even though I don't want to delete it because it's helping me out on some other formulas I may have elsewhere on the worksheet. So what I could do is I can highlight the entire columns from the top portion, right click and say hide. And you see they disappear. But you can tell if, you're, if your eyes uh, used to catching this stuff that F, uh, that these letters go E, F, J. And there's definitely something in between here missing. So you may not be interested in what's there, but if you ever do need to open that up and see it, you can, what you do is you can hide the column to the left and to the right then right click and say unhide and they'll appear again okay same thing with rows say I don't want to see rows 6 to 10 I can highlight the entire rows right click and hide and you see the numbers are going 1 2 3 4 5 11 whoa some goes off in my head there must be something hidden there and I can write I can highlight the row before the 5 and the 11 and then right click and say unhide and they'll show again okay so uh, just be aware of that that there's always the possibility that things are hidden on your spreadsheet even though they're there and having an effect on other uh, parts of the sheet uh, that they're there and you can unhide them and hide them again now another thing is you can hide an entire worksheet so for example let's say I just write hidden sheet on this sheet and I have three sheets as you can see down here but let's say for tidiness or whatever purposes I don't want people to see this sheet so sheet 2 is going to disappear I'm going to click on it right click and say hide and look at that it looks like in this workbook we only have sheet 1 and sheet 3 but it is there and the way you can get it back is to right click on any sheet any sheet you'll get this unhide select unhide and then you'll get this list in our case it's only one sheet we hit only one sheet sheet two but if you had many on un, un, uh, many hidden sheets you'd see the list here you can select the sheets you want to unhide click them and say OK and there you go the hidden sheet reappeared Okay, so I just wanted you all to be aware of this. This is something that is used quite often in practice, and it's good to be aware of it as well as maybe you want to use it yourself sometime. So, till next time, subscribe to my channel, check out my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, and Math tutorials. Like, favorite, comment, and have a great day.